They're being smuggled in across the Mexican border daily into the United States. Millions of doses of illegal counterfeit fentanyl pills like these are even making their way into Utah, being trafficked along Interstate 15 through St. George. I-15 is one of the main corridors that brings these drugs up through um, Southern California and up into here. And it, it doesn't take a, a genius to figure out that those pills are probably coming across the Mexican border. And with, with how unsecure it is right now, we have seen a drastic increase in the number of pills and, and narcotics that we're we're seizing. While fentanyl pills labeled M on one side and 30 on the other are typically blue in color, they are now being produced in various shades like colors of the rainbow. They look a lot like candy or sweet tarts, making them more marketable to youth. And it's, it doesn't take a genius to figure out they're targeting youth, they're targeting kids, they're making it seem like it's an acceptable form, that it's, it could look like Skittles. Uh, maybe when parents see that, they're not going to recognize what it is and think that it's it's a vitamin or it's something else. And they are also relatively cheap to buy. You know, we, we can buy one pill for probably anywhere from as low as $10 to up to $20 to $25 a pill. And a, a real pharmaceutical grade level of that would probably be $80 to $90 a pill. Captain Minnick of the Washington County Drug Task Force said the largest single bus to date in this area was 9,000 pills in one seizure. We have already seen in the first two quarters, being fiscal year, uh, first two quarters over a million dosal units, so that's a million pills. Um, and and it's, it's, a, it's rush roulette on whether one of those pills is going to kill you or not. The Drug Enforcement Agency's One Pill Can Kill campaign is an attempt to educate would-be users of these counterfeit medications and just how deadly they can be. So fentanyl itself is so strong that if you took a, a grain of fentanyl the, the size of a grain of salt, that is the, the dosal unit that can kill you, just one grain of salt. And so when you have counterfeit pills, you have... Uh, who knows who, mixing them up with a binder, and they're dumping in what they suspect will, will be what they need for this batch, but they have no idea how many uh, grains or how, many, uh, how much fentanyl is going in each pill. It is literally a crapshoot. One pill could have none, and another pill could have three or four grains, which would kill you. And because counterfeit pills are cheaper to produce, they are easier to mix into other types of illicit drugs. And they can break this fentanyl down, and they can they could put it in marijuana so they could smoke it off of marijuana. They could put it in, uh, yeah, they are mixing it with heroin. They're mixing it with uh, methamphetamine so you get your up and your down. It, they'll find any unique way to get this drug out there because the second you're addicted to the fentanyl, you become that repeat customer over and over and over again. With more than 100,000 people dying over the last year nationwide from drug overdoses, Minnick says they are seeing more and more young adults dying of overdoses from fentanyl. And we're seeing it. We're, we're, we're going to overdose deaths. Um, we have lots of them throughout our county. And it's sad because it's generally younger people, um, you know, between your 18 to 26 year olds who are the ones that are, who are overdosing and dying in this. It's it, from the most experienced user to the first time user, one pill can kill you and you just don't know what you're getting. And uh, it's, it's scary. It, it, it scares me and, and being in the investigations group, all the time we're going to overdose deaths and it's, it's heartbreaking to see families have to go through that. Minnick said school resource officers and police on patrol are also doing their best to educate and keep an eye on local schools and college students who are at higher risk. And so the SROs are specific in the schools to help give kids resources and education they need for that. They also use canines and other tools to try and cut off the flow. If you have a, a child who's got TikTok, who's got Snapchat, who's got Instagram, who has a cell phone, you should be monitoring those, those avenues. Nothing should be sacred in when it comes to your family. Captain Minnick said the best defense is to become educated about this potentially deadly illegal substance. If you've got those pills or you found those pills, I would encourage you not to handle them. Uh, in a capsulated or pill form, they are safe. It's the powder we worry about. And when I say safe, they're safe-ish. The transdermal uh, uh, being able to get into you is very low. Uh, however, if it's been crushed up, if you've if it breaks, those types of things, it can be really deadly. So just call us. We'll help you with all that processing and handling it and figuring out what to do with it. For more information on fentanyl, go to DEA.gov. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.